Are you looking for an easy way to allow users to submit images to your WordPress site? Unfortunately, WordPress doesn't have an easy out-of-the-box solution for this type of scenario, and you can't exactly give your users backend access to upload the images themselves. Emailing in files can work in some scenarios, but that can get messy pretty quickly with having to keep track of who emailed in, when, and what. Your best bet would be to create a form that allows users to submit images directly through the front end. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to do just that by using the WP Forms plugin. I'm Daisy with WP Forms, and before we get started, be sure to give this video a like and hit that subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our latest tips and tricks for WordPress. For this tutorial, you can either edit an existing form or create a brand new one if you'd like. I'm going to create a new form, so from the WordPress dashboard, I'm going to go to WP Forms, then Add New Form. For this tutorial, I'm going to start off using the simple contact form template and customize it. This template contains a name, email, and paragraph text field, but what it's missing is a file upload field. So from the menu on the left, I'm going to find the file upload field, and then click and drag it over to the right. Once the field has been added to my form, I'm going to click on it to reveal the field settings. You can customize the name of the field by updating the label and adding in a description, such as instructions a user needs to follow. But most importantly, you'll want to take a look at the following settings. Allowed file extensions, max file size, and max file uploads. If you only want to accept specific file types, you can specify which types these are in the allowed file extension fields. So for example, I can add in file types like PNGs, JPEGs, GIFs, and so on. You can add as many file extensions here as you'd like, just be sure to separate each one with a comma. If this field is left blank, then your form will allow all supported file types. The Max File Size field allows you to specify the maximum file size you want to allow for each file in megabytes. However, keep in mind that even though you enter a specific value in this field, you might still be limited to the file size limit your web host allows. So say you enter 100 megabytes, but your host only allows up to 50 megabytes, your uploaded files will be capped at whatever value is specified by your host. You can view what this limit is for your specific site by hovering over the tooltip icon above the Max File Size field. The Max File Uploads field allows you to specify the maximum number of files a user can submit during a single entry. If you click on the Advanced tab at the top, you'll be able to access some additional settings. In the Style dropdown, you'll be able to switch between Modern or Classic. Modern Style allows you to upload multiple files at one time, as well as drag and drop files directly into the field. Classic Style will only allow users to upload one file at a time and displays a traditional upload button. You'll also see some toggles you can enable. You can choose to store files in your WordPress media library and enable file access restrictions. These restrictions allow you to specify who on your site will have access to uploaded files. If this setting is enabled, you can add an additional layer of security by adding password protection. When you're done customizing these settings, save your changes and let's click on the Settings tab on the left and then go to Notifications. On this page, you can scroll down to the Advanced section and find a toggle called Enable File Upload Attachments. This setting will allow you to attach any uploaded files to the email notification that is sent when a form is submitted. In this dropdown, you can choose the form field that will contain the uploaded file. Just keep in mind that some email providers have file size limits on attachments. If a file is too large, it may affect your notification's deliverability. When you're done configuring your notification settings, save your changes. Now when users submit an image to your site via your contact form, You'll be able to go to the Entries page for this particular form and find it along with the rest of the form submission. And that's all there is to it, so you now know how to allow users to submit images to your WordPress site. If you have any questions or concerns, be sure to visit us on wpforms.com and check out our documentation page, where you can find step-by-step -step written guides for all of our features, add-ons, and more. You can also join our WP Forms VIP Circle group on Facebook to learn even more tips and tricks, as well as be part of the growing WP Forms community. If you need any extra help, please visit our contact page to connect with one of our trusted advisors. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.